Hi everyone, Juliana here and today in this video I want to share with you behind the scenes from some of my latest shoots that I did for swimsuit designer and it turned out pretty well and I just want to show you that it was actually very easily done and you can do it too so perhaps i'm going to inspire you so the whole swimsuits was there was very graphic bold lines and of course as a photographer you this is your job to really bring out and combine all the elements and tell the story so as a photographer you always you have these elements that as a styling and fashion and location and just mood and this is your job to really bring it out and really create your vision how you perceive all of this and combine all of it and make it ready to translate to the viewer originally i had a different uh, idea in mind when i saw the swimsuits uh, on the picture before the shoot i wanted to do kind of black and white set so i wanted to use white wall and i have a black um board so i kind of want to maybe do like a half black and white or something of that sort but when we start shooting i didn't really feel that i didn't really like it also i start to shoot with the uh, simple set as a softbox and the speed light and i didn't really like it it's just i didn't feel it so then i thought since the look and the swimsuit the lines are strong it's about contrast it's about kind of harsh lines so i decided to use harder lights so i just removed all uh, i just removed the modifier the softbox and what i leave i left just was the speed light no modifier at all and i like that but it just seemed to me too simple and i wanted something that extra i did really want to bring up that lines because those lines was for me the most important in the swimsuit that's what i was so it's all about lines and i really wanted to enhance that and i thought how can i do that and then um i got an idea i have a white cardboard that i use usually as a reflector and i use it as a gobble uh, just to drop the shadow on the wall so basically i asked my assistant um, whoever was assisting me to hold the reflector i position a little bit to the side from the flash so it wouldn't block the model but it would drop the kind of harsh line shadow on the background and the background was just a simple white wall i didn't even use any it was a white wall and i kind of like that because the walls in my studio has a little bit texture and i thought it was kind of neat so for that reason i didn't use the white plain background that I have I actually use wall anyways so yes I was just I was asked my assistant to hold it and I would adjust the position of the cardboard and it's just a simple cardboard according to the pose that model was giving so whenever was Xenia was staying straight and the lines of the suit and her body was more straight so I would adjust it more uh, vertical but whenever then we was posing given a strong um, diagonal lines I would ask to position more diagonally in order for um, the shadow on the wall would correspond with with the lines of the pose and the suit so that actually how I get the shot I really really like the way it turned out and it was so simple literally a speed light a cardboard and the white wall that's all you need to create those beautiful high-end commercial looking shots uh, I feel a lot of times we as photographers we whenever we see some pictures of the photographers that we like we concentrate on what we don't have or I don't have that set or I don't have that location or I don't have that model I don't have that wardrobe I don't have that styling etc so and we forget what we do have and I always 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 invite you to concentrate on what you do have what you can use today take a look around your area your apartment or whatever you just the objects what you have that you can actually bring into the shot and uh, a special word about the gobos they're incredible and i think they underused i don't think they've been used enough and give enough credit 
because it was this, just such a simple tool you can really change the shot and this was the simple one and you can use a different variation one you can use some interesting shape maybe a leaf a flower you can cut something out of it and work with the shadows it's such a powerful tool and i do invite you to experiment with this more and really um, pay attention to that yes i guess that's probably all i wanted to say i know this video is quite short that sometimes awesome shots you don't need a lot of props to create that it's all your vision it's all your creativity as a photographer i cannot stress enough how important to think outside of the box find inspiration i personally as i said i take inspiration from fashion like from this shoot uh, it was all about swimsuits so naturally i take inspiration from the line of the clothing if it's a beauty shot if it's about hair and makeup find inspiration there what color what the moods and really think about what can enhance the shot maybe it's some objects maybe it's a background maybe it's texture there is such a variety out there and it's all about creativity it's all about your vision so the main um, idea is to inspire you to really use your creativity and really use what you have and some awesome shots can be really created and achieved with some really really simple basic elements i hope this video was useful for you my name is juliana and if you want to see more videos like this please thumbs up and if you have an ideas for the video what you want me to talk about please do comment below i would uh, definitely take this to consideration. Uh, if you want to see my work, please follow me on Instagram, Yurenachi underscore photo. And yes, lots of love from Houston, Texas. And see you next time. Bye. So, okay, Rachel, mm -hmm. I need you now. Oh, 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 thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no, I mean, okay, the, the purpose of it, I want you to cast shadow. So, oh. that's the device. Oh, got it. Exactly. Stand my guard. You know this one? That's yeah. not your job from this kind of to know. Yeah. <laughs> it's my job to explain all of it. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Chin a little bit lower. Okay. And chin toward me. And maybe up, let's go up, up, up. Okay, I like, I like this strong one. Let's try this lower. Like you did before, lower, lower, lower chin, lower, okay. lower. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Tiny bit up, tiny bit up. Yes. A nice strong fierce. Chin a little bit higher, chin a little bit up. Yep. I really want your left hand maybe up more yeah, dynamic there and maybe look yes catch attention of people and like oh what is she wearing oh what is yeah. she wearing yeah yeah exactly yeah. and let's tilt your upper body forward maybe a little bit and chin a little bit I'll really deal with you for now. I'll really see if she pushes me away. No, this is like the boss thing. I love it. Beautiful. Yes, so good.